Hey there game makers and welcome back to another must known basics for game maker and basically programming as such because that will be a thing which you encounter a lot of times in video games so basically movement or in specific here directional movement so let's say we got a thing here we got two guys which are homing onto our player which is the orange dude and here this dude is just going into its merry way because we just give it a speed value and a direction and off you go super convenient easy peasy to do so let's say uh, let's go in here as you can see wow see easy peasy so direction where to go to and what kind of speed here spoiler what i'm gonna go into uh, into details is this thing here <gasps> don't be afraid it's not too difficult to understand so basically here what you're seeing conveniently being done with those internal values is basically this little uh, calculation so we are updating the x and y coordinates by a speed value uh, set it to cosinus then a specific direction where we want to go so this is the homing direction so it's an angle and then uh, well p divided by 180 and then we do the same but minus uh, i will just post that into the comments so you can actually check that out so as you can see this is looking longer than this one is of course then convenient but let's say you got an issue and uh, or you want to transition to another platform then you don't have speed and well direction like this presented as an easy peasy uh, ready to use uh, functionality or for example you do something like me you just enable physics then you start your game and you'll be like what <laughs> and then direction and speed is well, direction is not deactivated, but speed is deactivated. So here, uh, difficult. But of course, this one is moving towards. So let's check out who that is. This is Mr. Enemy Instance 1. So here, this does work because MP Potential Step can be used for homing still, but it's kind of resource intensive. But of course, you can use it if you just get a few instances. No issue here. Here, it's not using the internal speed value. So this one here once again, spirit. Nope, we are not using this one. This is, I guess, uh, using some search algorithms. So here, the, it's a little bit more complicated. So let's leave it like this. And then of course, the other one, which is this one. This one was not moving, move towards point and all the move functionality. You can throw it out of the window because it does not work if you enable physics, because it's kind of um, using the internal uh, well, uh, speed value also, which is being deactivated, or so it's not workable. It doesn't work at all. So it's you can actually find that in the uh, documentation. So here, eh. so how can we actually uh, use this system? Well, once again, uh, kind of an excursion from my side. A little bit of mathematics. Yes, I will bore you with mathematics now. So let's say you got uh, well the thing which. I was sleeping most of the time in <laughs> school, which is the X and Y axis. And then that dude was predestined to be extremely efficient uh, sleeping pill. So here uh, you got a Y value and an X value. And as you can see, if you're going to the right, you just add X values. So we're going to the right. And if you're going minus X values, then it's going to the left. And same for here going upwards with minus values and downwards with plus so easy peasy so let's say you would you just want to go to the right you just add up x values or you just want to go up and down then you just add like this but let's say and here we come into the oh it's a little bit more complicated territory uh, different color so no no this 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 yeah this one looks good so let's say but you want to go something like this and then you got a thing which is a vector a 2d vector by any instance so a starting point and then a direction where to go to so therefore that's why you got the, the arrow here and then the amplitude basically this is just the length and in computer terms vectors are extremely interesting because let's say you want to update one frame Hopefully you understand what I, where I'm going with this. So here the vectors are a thing which are kind of super convenient. And of course, the, the, the actual way how everything is uh, running and working. But here we got things like angles. And here we go into, uh, it should be round. It's not, it doesn't really matter. And then you get some angles and therefore you got a calculation 
of sinus, cosinus and all so on and therefore radial values are now more important of course you have more internal systems in unity i guess you got what is that rigid bodies and position changes and, and vectors also so here uh, this knowledge comes into well it's kind of handy for you to understand how that goes because um, let's say you apply for a job then that stuff in uh, programming at least in video games is a must known so you need to understand what vectors are how they work and what the relevancy is and they are for making games so therefore once again back to game maker well i spoiled everything already so here let's say you got uh well this little uh, calculation which i showed you we are grabbing a, put a direction where to go to so where to home to from ourselves to the target whatever that is and then we're updating the x position by our speed not this one because this one is broke now and then uh, we are well having uh, running it through cosinus so we are getting an angle and then our specific direction which is starting well if you for example have been paying a little bit more attention than me here was zero and then if you go like this 90 degrees and then you go with 180 and so on so here hopefully it doesn't make no sense why the angles are the way they are so here 0 90 180 270 and then at some point 360, 360 as kind of a full circle and here of course you got in between values and this is how the whole thing goes together hopefully this super quick and dirty way uh, wasn't too confusing a little bit of math i apologize for that but Hopefully you understand that these things are super important to understand in well, once again for programming and how things are moving into the 2D space. And of course 3D it becomes a little bit more because the vectors are now having three coordinates and so on. But then amplitude and direction is pretty much almost the same because it's just two values also. Once again, yo, this is so much easier. But if you want to know what's actually happening under the machine, where everything is humming and buzzing and so on, that's what's happening. So here, use this one <laughs> if you want to have less troubles. But, if, but once again, at some point, maybe you want to understand what that is all about. If you want to know definitely more information about that, got a pretty sweet video for that. Resolution is a little bit low, but information is solid. So check it out if you like. Alrighty, that was it from my side for today. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.